like Brian, I came here in 1989 to, uh, to the college, but as a student, um, and uh, I was a little, a little nervous when I got here that there wouldn't be um, plenty of skateboards. And like the previous gentleman just mentioned, uh, there were plenty of parking lots and stairways and handrails for me to um, get parking tickets uh, from the officer who was probably <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I built in that time before the Keene Skate Park was built, uh, I built a park uh, for Flat Street, the youth center in Brattleboro, mm -hmm. and I also built one in Bar Harbor, Maine. Um, I was very excited to not have to build. That was very good. And um, we loved the skate park here. We had a great time. Um, and it just started to deteriorate over time. And uh, right now we travel about an hour and a half on weekends to go skateboard. Um, I work in Keene. Sometimes on lunch, if I want to go blow off some steam, I will go to the skate park. Um, and become frustrated, but I really, I really, really want to travel to Keene and have, you know, have that same experience I got when I first moved here in '89. And that's why I love the Keene Park. Thank you. Uh, question, Council Duffy. Uh, hey, could you go back just a second? Oh, sorry. Thank yeah. you. Quick question. Sure. I, um, I appreciate you and everyone else who's uh, spoken tonight about issues of the skate park and the safety issues in particular. Um, the current skate park is 9,000 square feet. The proposed uh, park is for 3,250 feet. I would uh, just simply ask you, do you feel that is an adequate size and, and could explain to us why? The, the new one is proposed for 3,000? 3,250 square feet. For the budgeted amount. For the budgeted amount. Um, yeah, my, my feeling is that that is not adequate and that we're going to be looking at a lot of fundraising to make it adequate. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else wish to be heard? Yes. Gentlemen in the back. My name is Steve Spangle. I'm from the town of Ludwell in Vermont. And uh, I'd like to commend the city on taking on a proposed skate park, especially one that's supposed to be concrete because being 52 years old and still skateboarding, I've renovated the skate park back in Ludlow and it's a bridging experience because it's, uh, originally we have skate parks that were built uh, piecemeal and put together and over time, just like generations that skateboard, things deteriorate. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, but the that's legend still is, that's true. <laughs> but we deal, and to be honest with you, I couldn't be happier at 52 years old skateboarding. Uh, JT actually comes down to Ludlow and skates, and it's really transformed uh, what a simple half pipe used to be, which is you know framed out of me uh, wood and then pinned in metal. Um, into something that becomes a destination for people all over. We travel and skateboard together. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that skateboarders represent the most creative and strong individuals that there are. I mean, when you talk about one possibility of looking at a group of individuals that might be uh, in trouble, but that rebellious attitude is what this country is founded on. And the opportunity to build a concrete skate park where people can actually thrive, we've all seen what happened this past Olympics with the level that snowboarding's gone to. And snowboarding was a renegade sport when it started out, and in some ways it still is when it goes backcountry. But to me, a concrete skate park gives the opportunity for you to go to the park, uh, learn from older individuals like myself who are always willing to put in uh, time along with equipment which is always donated by the generosity of so many of the people that are now networking as adult individuals so the park itself having been a builder has been a great experience to link people together and uh, I really want to commend and, and wish you all the best luck I'll be rooting for you and available if anything needs to be done so thank you okay, thank you are there, are there any questions okay, thank you very much does anybody else wish to speak in connection with the CIT? 
Yes. 